instinct might be the most amazing thing about an animal. Humans have instincts too, but animals show how they can exploit their instincts to a level that cannot be explained by reason. Whether it's adapting to find food or continuing their lineage, humans often end up learning from animals. Salmon, in particular, is one of the most fascinating creatures in nature. Their life cycle teaches humans about principles and struggles. There are eight salmon species globally, with seven coming from the Pacific Ocean and one from the Atlantic Ocean. Despite being known as marine fish, salmon can live in both salt water and fresh water. In the fish world, there are two groups that migrate during their lives. The first is anadromous fish, born and laying eggs in the ocean but migrating to fresh water. An example is the eel. The second group is catadromous, born in fresh water but migrating to the ocean. Salmon belong to this group. The salmon life cycle starts in fresh water, specifically in the headwaters of rivers. Their eggs hatch and life begins anew. The newly hatched salmon, called fry, are red and have a sack attached to their bodies. After around five weeks, they grow into small fish and start exploring the river. Salmon can adapt to salt water through osmoregulation. They control the amount of salute in their bodies to maintain balance in seawater. After spending two, seven years in the ocean, they enter a reproduction phase, migrating back to freshwater. This migration is a challenging and risky journey for salmon. After laying their eggs in fresh water, both female and male salmon die due to the energy expended during the journey. The deceased salmon become food for plankton, which in turn serves as nourishment for the hatching fry a few months later. In the wild, Atlantic salmon faces the threat of near extinction due to dam construction and changes in river ecosystems. On the other hand, Farm salmon exemplify remarkable creatures overcoming obstacles to achieve their goal of spawning in the headwaters. They never know their parents, but instinctively understand that their offspring must grow in the best possible environment, no matter what happens.